So I was finally able to watch the interview with Sylvester's father and the sisters, the one that they had on Zoom meeting with one journalist like that. So, you know, it's an entire 30 minutes length video, so it took a while. And I was able to take my time to, you know, watch the video so I could get some clarity as to what may have transpired. And the good thing is the sisters in the video also attend, okay, one of them attended, but they all attended the same school with uh, Sylvester. I was able to finally get a picture as to what may have been the motive behind these boys, you know, treating Sylvester the way they did. And also, the reason why I was even interested more is because I also went to a boarding school and I've written a book that's set in a boarding school. So, I kind of feel like I have first-hand experience with boarding school and bullying and, you know, this beat. Although I've never really seen an extreme case where a student killed uh, a fellow student or a junior student because I, you know, but I can explain something because from what the sisters were saying, it was clear that Sylvester was a target. It was clear that these group of boys were going after Sylvester for as though they had some kind of grudge against him because the sister said something. She was like, when she was in SS3, that's the eldest one, said that when she was in SS3, her classmates, the boys in the hostel, had to go save Sylvester from some sort of situation and take him to their room and then they would tell her the next day that we protected your brother, they wanted to beat him but they did not beat him. My first thought was what are they, like why is he the only junior student? Why does that boy need special protection? Why are people coming after him? Who is coming after him and why? My first question was, is Sylvester rude? Is he disrespectful? Was he insulting? Was he just entitled? Looking at his face, he looks really innocent. So I really wanted to understand what kind of a person he was as a junior boy. I wanted to understand that dynamic there. And the sisters went on to clear my doubts and they both said it in a very truthful way where the sisters were like, uh, Sylvester was the kind of guy who could kiss up to a senior student just so the senior student could like him. A junior, he wasn't rude to his senior. He wasn't rude or anything. He's the kind of person that oh, he will even want to kiss up to his senior so they would like so they him. Would like so him. they won't be mean to him, you yeah. understand? Because okay, yes, they know his study. And seeing that Sylvester is really willing to lie about his situation just so he can protect this group of boys it shows that this boy was really tender soft innocent afraid like he was just clearly not a bully he was clearly not a fighter he was clearly not insulting he was clearly not rude because if he was rude if he was respectful i don't think he would want to hold back the truth for as long as he did so the fact is sylvester was an angel 100 percent like he was innocent but yet these boys kept coming for him and the sister said something too she said she felt as though maybe these boys attacked him because the people who used to protect him are no longer there they're no longer in the school that feeling of okay they've protected you too much let's wait for your sister to go let's see what happens so it's like every little thing he does it's like they keep their eye on him to make sure you and anyone who goes to a boarding school should be able to pick up something from this because I am getting some kind of, you know, uh, deja vu. It's almost like I remember this scenario play out in my own time when I was in a boarding school. Because for a fact, for four, for four senior students, for four big boys to gang up on a small child like that, it's personal. The way they treated Sylvester, the way they beat him up. They said that the seniors came in group, five of them came into this boys' room, asked the junior boys, the other ones to leave quietly, I guess. It was as though Sylvester was sleeping. They turned off the lights and began flogging this boy till he fell out of the bed and they then they stomped on him, stepped on him, mashed him like uh as though he was a thief or something. That kind of lynching or beating comes from a deep 
root of grudge you have to hate someone to an extent that you'll be able to do that for them to be comfortably able to do that and then threaten him not to speak threaten the other student not to say anything these boys had something for sylvester they had some kind of grudge and i did not understand the grudge because they said the boy is respectful if the boy is respectful where is this grudge coming from and then it dawned on me like it dawned on me when the father said that he had had four children in that school and that he had a son who was in that school that graduated two years ago now if that if my calculations are correct if sylvester's elder brother was in that school two years ago he was a senior to this group of boys from my own experience i believe that these boys may have had some kind of grudge with sylvester's elder brother when he was a senior in that school because that is the only way this can make sense it's like people who have gone to body school would be able to relate with this the 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 system of bullying uh how do i put it bullying and um oppression is like a pyramid scheme and also like a cycle it's like when you're a senior you bully your juniors and when your juniors become senior they bully so the pain the bully the molestation the assault the, the abuse keeps going down and it comes up it goes down to the new generation so it just keeps that is how it works in a boarding school it's just that you know it's not as rare that people will kill people but you know the torture and the bullying and the oppression just goes on and if it's not properly monitored by authorities if authorities are not fully involved in the lives of these students it can turn into a prison yard it can turn into uh, a jail you can turn into a whole lot of the flies again so you know i'm trying to just piece one or two together it's not as if this has been said officially but because if this boy is innocent nice respectful and these guys attacked him like that it means the grudge is coming from somewhere they have to explain why they just have to explain why and i don't see any reason why did he not do an assignment did he not fetch water for them five five senior students how can one small boy offend five boys at, as small as he is these all five boys with their big bodies beating him how and the only way that i think might possibly be the the explanation here is maybe these guys have some kind of grudge against his elder brother when he was a senior one of the boys who beat him up had been suspended because of Sylvester in the past. In Sylvester's on, uh, uh, hundred, I said hundred level. <laughs> in Sylvester's JSS one, it was revealed that you know the boy there, the favor, some one favor guy, you know, confronted uh, Sylvester and asked him to forcefully say that he had seen his sister's nakedness. And Sylvester said so because that's what seniors do. They force you to say things and you say it unless you're a very stubborn person you won't say it and then this same stupid okay let me not say stupid this same um foolish uh senior went back to the sister to tell the sister that uh your brother is saying that he has seen your nakedness all over the hostel and the sister confronts uh sylvester at home which became a thing in the house and Sylvester opened up that he was forced to say it and the brother the eldest brother I don't know if he's the one that had left the school But to say that one of the eldest brother at home took the case back to the school and reported uh, the favor guy and then It was said the favor guy was suspended. So I think I may understand where this favor guy Grudge is coming from he has this little boy had made him to have been suspended so i see that he has his own grudge however the rest four they need to explain where their own grudge is coming from they need to explain why they hate him so much even at that step, even this particular favorite guy seems to have even had a grudge for him since for him to bully this boy to the point of asking him to talk about his sister's nakedness he seems like a target i'm sure he's not the only one who have a sister there so why are they always coming for why is it sylvester you know it's just annoying like why him 
That is just my question. Why him? In most schools, this happens when a senior who a lot of juniors don't like leave the school or let's say the senior was also a bully too because it's rampant bullying abuse all these things they are common in the in the, in the hostel so when you bully somebody and you leave and most likely you have a younger one who comes into the school a lot of these people would take it on on that child and maybe they try to do it in jss1 and the sister who was necessary at the time had to make her own classmates protect him and now those classmates they've graduated it's almost like Sylvester doesn't have any more protection again so that grudge that they have bottled up for a long time just seemed to be how they target him it's not like they target him once like just at once because there was something the sister also said she said any little thing he does they'll pick on it and this is common in school too if someone is targeting you they, they just don't you know come right out of the way to beat you up they just wait for you to misbehave since now that they're now seniors they wait for you to mess up a little just a slight misbehavior you make noise during prep or you're sleeping when you're not supposed to be sleeping or you're loitering around or you you're doing laundry when you're not supposed to be doing laundry those little rules that is set up in a boarding school you break it this senior who have had uh, a target on you will use that opportunity to be evil you know so this is just my thoughts on this case because i honestly cannot phantom why else this group of children will do this to a little child like that it gotta be a it gotta be the circle of bullying that's already in the boarding school. It gotta be the pyramid of pain and hatred that goes from one generation to another. That is the only way I see it. You just don't wake up and beat up an 11 years old child, stomping on him. No, 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 no. The, 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 the graphic description was too personal. This is pure evil. They gotta, these kids must be just out of their way because I don't know how else. I can't explain how else. It's just confusing. So. Alright guys, so let me know what you think. I would like to know what you think about this. What do you think would make these people do this to this boy? If it's not cultism like we're told in the first place, then why? What kind of hatred do they have for a child that is nice and respectful? So where is this pain and hatred and grudge coming from. I would like to hear you people's thoughts because personally, I feel maybe Sylvester's elder brother was not a senior that they liked when he was in the school and so they decided to take it on on the little boy. That is just my thoughts. And I'm saying this based on experience and I will tell you guys a story in another video that happened in my school that will most likely make you understand where I got this theory from.